One of the doctors we work with kept experiencing a steam leak from her Statum 2000. She had replaced the cassette a couple of months ago and installed a brand new cassette seal, but the steam leak persisted. She asked us to take a look, and this is what we found. Thank you for calling American Dental. How may I help you? After running an initial sterilization cycle, we noticed steam was pouring out of the front of the unit. The cycle finished without any cycle faults, so we decided to remove the cover to be sure it wasn't leaking anywhere else. The cover is held on by seven screws, two on each side and three on the back of the unit. Be sure to remove the cassette and reservoir cap before lifting the cover. Once inside, we decided to check several fittings that lead from the reservoir to the cassette chamber. There was no sign of leakage in any of these fittings, so we were pretty sure the problem was with the cassette itself. With the cover off, we ran another cycle, kept our eyes on the fittings at the back of the unit, as well as the cassette. The cassette itself seemed fine, no dents or bends, and the cassette clicked into place with no problems. It's not leaking any more than it was before. Mm -hmm. Well, should we try changing the gasket first and see if that makes a difference? Or we probably, because it might just be it's leaking from the cassette and leaking out the be, back here. Because I don't see anything here. Yeah. Is it leaking on the bottom? I don't see any leaking this time. Oh, there it is leaking. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's not coming from here. So it's, it's coming from the cassette chamber? From the cassette chamber, yeah. Okay. It is just the cassette. Note the water underneath the unit, and the buildup of moisture at the cassette chamber opening and within the chamber itself. If this is left unattended, this moisture can damage components inside of the unit. We decided to go with a new cassette seal even though the doctor said she had just changed it. If the seal was not properly installed, it could have become damaged. The other possibility was a bad cassette, and we wanted to be sure. The manufacturer recommends replacing the cassette seal every 800 cycles. It should also be lubricated with the provided liquid soap once a week. Do not use an antibacterial liquid soap. Now that the old seal has been removed and the cassette cleaned and inspected for dents or dings, the new seal will be lubricated along the outer edge as that edge will come into contact with the groove in the cassette housing. You'll notice two locating tabs on the seal. These will match up with the holes in the cassette tray. After each of the four corners of the seal are in place, work the rest of the seal into the groove. No leaking yet? No. Not a drop. No steam coming up. I think we did it. Yeah, but that was that was super leakage. It was leakage it. everywhere. Yeah. So now we know the cassette's okay too. Yeah, that's fine. It's proof that if you have an extra one on hand, it's yeah. just good to have it, even if the gasset looks good. Yeah.